Guess who's back? Your boy, Wounded Viking. Mic check one, two, one, two. I got about 20 minutes. I'll do a quick A and A. Ask me anything. You know the drill. The boy is here, live and direct. This is not a test, ladies and gentlemen. Today is your lucky day. You're catching me live. <laughs> All right, we got three people already. State your name, state your claim. I'm from Belgium. No, I am. Where, where are you from? Belgium, the heart of Europe. People often mistake me for being American. Blaine MTV, man. Blaine American Media. That's what I grew up with. I've got uh, surgery. Do you know how to pick up women? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm living, I'm living with one. So last time I checked, I she's not she's not in chains. So I'm not doing something right for her to stay. How do you pick up women? Um, don't make the focus on your life picking up women. That's how you get get. How do you get how do you get girls? Don't spend your whole day thinking about how to get girls and doing everything in in in, in um, Jesus. I'm blanking. Don't do anything simply just to get girls. It's not that important. It's really not. Focusing yourself, and the women will come. Pun intended. By the way, I'm writing a book. It's called Rats and Lemons. It's going to be an absolute banger when it drops. It's not out yet. I'm still writing it. But if you would like to get a free chapter of my upcoming book, Rats and Lemons, then you can send me an email at lorenz.greets at gmail.com. You can also use that email address if you're trying to get in touch with me for coaching. And uh, you can get some Viking advice on the daily Turn your life around. How about that? What's up, A Dakes? Boren. What would be your advice if you're freaking if you are freaking love to do something, but you're forced to give up doing it? Still try or let it go. And if and if try of and let it and if let it how? Well, all right, so there's two things here. First of all, if you're saying that you're forced to give it up, but at the same time you're saying, I can still try, then you're not really forced. You know what I mean? So honestly, man, like keep going, keep trying. I I was doing YouTube for, for years before I got any, any type of following or views. I was getting 300 views per video. Actually, I'm still getting 300 views per video. <laughs> ever since YouTube stopped uh, putting me in your algorithm. But that being said, honestly, man, if, if, that, if that thing is the thing that you love to do most, if that is what makes your clock tick, you know, then just keep doing it. Don't, like, the time is now. You can, you can conform and, and, and settle when you're old and, you know, washed up. But I'm going to assume that you're young and, Chase your dreams, man. There is no, like, time is up before you know it, first of all. Second of all, there is no guarantee that you, that you have much time left. Tomorrow literally doesn't exist. People all walk around with this, you know, guarantee in the back of their head, thinking that tomorrow's going to come. That may not be the case. At the end of the day, ask yourself, when is the last time that you or anyone else talked about the failure of a random person about 100 years ago? You know what I mean? We're all going to die. So it doesn't matter if you fail or if you don't turn out to be a winner or if you don't turn out to be the most successful guy. When is the last time that someone brought up, yo, you, you, you remember Jack... Schmo, you know, living in, in, in 1963, 
Remember, he tried to become a professional football player and he didn't make it? Damn, what a loser, right? You see what I mean? Like all of our peers, all of our contemporaries, all of the people around us, they're, all, they're also going to die. So no one's going to remember your failures. So why not just go for it? Like very, like the absolute worst case scenario is that you have to spend the last 20 years of your life basically saying, yeah, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't reach my goal, but so what? At least you will know that you have given it your all. At least you will have tried. You know what I'm, you see what I'm saying? Hello, Sir Spade. How you doing? What's up, Francisco? Don't don't attach too much value and credibility and importance to the to the to the opinions of your peers and your parents and your family. Live your life on your terms. It's not coming back. Plot twist. There is no reincarnation. This is it. One ticket, Playboy. Better make that shit last. Speaking of making it last, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm writing a book. It's called Rots and Lemons. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. But what do you do when life gives you rotten lemons? So that's why I call it Rotten Lemons. If you're trying to get a free chapter, send your boy an email. I'll give you a free chapter. No strings attached, no marketing scheme, no nada. It is what it is. I'm kind of lazy when it comes to my appearance. I see a lot of videos of people saying working out, nice clothes, perfect hygiene, and cologne really does work. Is it true? Of course it's true, yes. If you're going to... Basically, the bottom line of those videos is respect yourself. Don't shave yourself and put on nice clothes for others. Do it for yourself. You know, I work out. I have a. I want to have a great body because it makes me feel good. I feel good about myself. Just try shaving every two days. See how much better you, you feel. Take care of your hair. You know, that's why people like people that don't shower and stuff and don't take care of themselves and their personal hygiene. They don't get it. You can't like expect yourself to have self-confidence and self-love if you're not taking care of yourself. Don't do it for others, do it for you. Stop being lazy, man. Stop watching YouTube videos on, on how to like, you know, you need to really like start doing, applying the basics. Otherwise you're just gonna be literally the most average person in, in history. Like at least take care of yourself. My mother having passed on January 12th, and me being no older than 35 years, I was considered myself a traitor to breathe for 30, let alone 20 or even 10 more years. So why are you a traitor? Who, who are you betraying? Who are you betraying? How does that make sense? Like, what is my input on that thought process? You're, 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 you are basically torturing yourself. You are torturing yourself, you're hurting yourself because you think somehow that by doing so, you're going to get rewarded. Plot twist. The universe doesn't care about your mom passing away, nor does it care about you hurting yourself, nor does it care about you wallowing in self-pity, nor does it care about my chin looking like a ball sack. You see how that works? At the end of the day, you got to take care of yourself and you got to love yourself because no one else will. Calvary ain't coming. This is not a this is not a Sylvester Stallone movie, man. Steven Seagal ain't coming with the chopper. If you're not gonna pull yourself up out of this mental pile of feces, that's gonna be your life. A lot of people have this notion, man, that if, if they just suffer long enough, one day, no, you're gonna, you're gonna suffer until you're old, and then you're gonna rot away. Don't tell me, don't tell me I didn't warn you. You got to save yourself, man. Do you like McDonald's? McDonald's is loser food. McDonald's is food for losers, man. People, like, there is no advantage to McDonald's whatsoever. If McDonald's was actually, like, quite cheap, I'd get it. It's not even cheap. Like, literally, McDonald's is expensive. You can get much better food for that type of money. So it doesn't make sense on any level. If you're eating McDonald's, you're a loser. Tell them I said it. Like, I get it, like, back in, in 2004, I, I would have understood it. By now, if you haven't read up on what McDonald's is, on the fact that it actually literally gives people cancer, I mean, what can I say, man? 
Are you worried about pesticides and fruits and vegetables? Not really, because I live in Belgium. Maybe I would be in America, I'm not going to lie, but in Belgium we got quite strict laws when it comes to that stuff. Alexander Lazarus, what's up, playboy? Keep on rocking, appreciate that. If you're giving rotten lemons, make beer. By the way, guys, I'm still offering my coaching services. If you're trying to work with me and turn your life around, hit me up, lorenz.treats at gmail.com. I have not been to McDonald's for years. Good, 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 good. Dennis, well, I just had it. Good for you, playboy, or can I say? What can I say? Sir Space, I listen to Steph is cold, and I get motivated that I just get uninterested quickly. See, that's the problem with people in these YouTube motivational videos. You're relying on someone to shout at you and give you some witty one-liners and to get you hyped, and then you turn out the video and then, oh shit, my life is still the way it was. You can't rely on, on these like online personas to hype you up. You just can't. It's not going to last. It's not sustainable. If you constantly need someone in your ear to hype you up, you're not going to make it. You need to be your own hype man. You need to dig deep for some actual reason as to why you want to achieve something. If not, accept the fact that you're going to be mediocre. It's the same with Goggins, man. Like, I don't want to start talking shit about David Goggins again, but like, people just love someone to, you know, like, yeah, you know, suffer and this and that and like, you know, stay hard. And then they turn out the video and it's like, oh, you're on your own again. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great, Rachna. Joe Rogan has a great advantage in living in the U.S. Do you have to move to make your podcast work? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Uh, I mean, to be honest, I wouldn't say that Joe got big because he lives, just because he lives in the U.S., man. That, that dude, he put in – don't forget, he literally started a podcast when it wasn't even a thing. Like, he was so ahead of the game. Nothing but respect to him, man. Have you ever read Carl Jung? I have, but it's been a while. Indie games. I love you, Lorenzo. Much love from Brazil. Obrigado. My girl loves Brazil, man. She won't shut up about it. All I hear about is Brazil from the morning until the evening. So if I'm ever out there, it'll be because of her. Blame her. <laughs> Remington. I couldn't sleep last night. It's already 10 a.m. Should I keep trying to go to the gym? 10 a.m.? Listen, man, what you need to do is stay up the whole day, no matter how hard it is. Don't go to bed. Drink as much, like, if you need to drink 10 cups of coffee and just don't take naps, I guarantee you by 10, you will be tired. You just need to get your, like, you need to get your sleeping schedule on track. You need to go to sleep at 10, 30, 11, the latest, every single night. The latest. Get up at 7, 7, 30, the latest, and stick to that. What do you think about match betting like gambling? I used to do it, man. I used to do it. It's a, it's a lot of fun. But now I prefer to bet on crypto. No, I'm, all jokes aside, um, there's, like, it's a lot of fun. Just understand that in the end, the house always wins. You're not going to win. I heard his book is the same thing as he says on video. And the people who bought, brought the book says it was worthless. So, yeah, I might go to a different dating coach. Um... Yeah, that's why you need to buy my book instead. No, I'm kidding. It's not even out yet. Um, Apollonius Beitzman. To be fair, you are always good looking. There are real ugly people out there that can't get a girl. Personality is not real. What do you mean my personality is not real? Um, but real, look, I was good looking, but dude, I was not good looking after my surgery. And I wouldn't consider myself good looking now either. I mean... Trust me, man, 99.9% .9 of, the, of the women, they don't, they're not trying to be with someone who doesn't have bottom teeth. Also, this is my best angle. From the side, I look worse. Not to shit on myself. I'm just saying, like, um, it's not about looks that much. It really isn't. And if you're really ugly, there's still things you can do, like maximize your body, maximize your hair, maximize your personality, your fashion sense. There's a lot of ways. And just, man, I can't repeat this. I can't stress this enough. Stop making, like, women the focal point of your life. That's where a lot of guys go wrong, man. They just, they're just like, you know, the holy grail is like having a girl. No. 
you just need you need you need to have some actual tangible goals that are not just getting a girl. Trust me. Like it's not what you think it is. It's not like your troubles are gonna vaporize into thin air once you have a girl. No. Maybe quite the opposite, but like it's not there's too many guys who are just so focused on just like I gotta get a girl. I used to be one of them when I was younger. It's not until I stopped caring that I actually started having real success with women. Hello, was it Trip Fun? What's up, Alexandra? Shout out to my number. I love you, girl. Truth was great. Francesco, does your admiration of Joe Rogan doesn't take into account that he talks a lot about things he doesn't know anything about? Yeah, but he says that himself. Look, I'll be the first one to criticize Joe Rogan, but he says it all the time. He's like, I'm an idiot. I don't know shit about shit, and I'm just curious. Like, he always says it's so ironic that people turn to my podcast, the podcast as a comedian, to, you know, to get knowledge and to get updates on like real important matters. Like the world is so fucked up because of that. But he, you know, he, he's self admittedly stupid actually. Um, so yeah, you can't really, you can't really fault him. Hello, Hannah. I'm great. You looked a lot taller before better. You, you looked like a taller, better Ed Sheeran than before. <laughs> oh man. I guess. Thank you. Apollonius. I mean, most women don't care about personality. When women say personality, they mean they, mean they want to chat with a good personality, not average men. Not average men. Look, Apoll Apollonius, I'm not even going to say that you're wrong. I know that a lot of girls just want that. But you know what You know what the kicker is? You know what the really, like, the, the punchline is? Regardless of how many billion women suck, right? Let's just assume they do. Same way men suck. You only need one. You only need to hit the jackpot once. Like imagine you're throwing darts at the board, right? And all you got, like you got unlimited darts, meaning every dart is you approaching a woman. You're like, yeah, what's up? I'm trying to get to know you, girl. You know, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. It doesn't take any money or anything to like approach women. So we can agree you have unlimited ammo, right? Unlimited darts. All you got to do, it's a numbers game, is hit the bullseye once. You can get rejected like 10 times a day, right? All you got to do is run into that one woman who does care about personality, and yes, they exist. And you, that's it. You're set. And then as long as you don't cheat on her, you should be fine. You should be straight. Treat, treat her good. Like, the, this is like, this is where a lot of guys, like, they make a crucial error in the way they think. They just, like... They just want to have, they want to be able to have all the women. That's never, it's never going to play out like that, right? You have to, you only need one. You only need one. And it doesn't cost money to play the game. The game is played outside. You step outside of your door, you go outside that door. The world is yours, playboy. Get your walk on, get your talk on. You can do what you want. Like, you just have to, like, run into one girl. You're set for the rest of your life. Do you know how many people stress out about, do you know how many people have found a partner, but then they're like, oh, FOMO, fear of missing out. Did I maximize my potential? Is this really the best I could get? Constantly comparing, that's how you mess up. All you need is one. Love isn't everything. Mm, debatable. Ah, digs. I see enough ugly people with girls. Some people just have no confidence and give up. Plot twist, There's a, the best looking girls are usually the most insecure. Trust me, if girls are your ultimate goal, as soon as you get the girl, you'll have nothing to go from there, and then it all falls apart in my experience. Exactly. This is exactly right, Atlantic. There are so many guys who just spend their whole life like getting the girl, and then they get the girl, and then it's like, then they find out that their whole life they never had any real goals, and they're lost, and they lose their, they lose their entire identity. Don't be that. Don't be that person. That's sad. I don't know. I had one girl approach me last night, I guess, but I got weird and she left. Well, people tend to leave when you get weird. Tutorial. So, isn't Rogan by definition average too? I've never heard anyone praise him for, for his stand-up. And he's basically a professional ignoramus. Um, I guess I've heard people say that his stand-up is not that good. I don't know about that. I'm not, it doesn't matter to me. I can't comment on that. But... To say he's a professional ignoramus, I feel like that's not that's the, that's not accurate. Whether you like it or not, 
he knows a lot of stuff about a lot of different topics. Is he an expert? No, by no stretch of the imagination. But he can he can talk, man. He can hang about a lot of different topics. Is he wrong sometimes? For sure. For example, for me, the main thing where I think he, he completely, like, you know, uh, messes up is when he talks about being anti-vegan. I'm not vegan, by the way, but, like, he does this carnivore diet where you're only allowed to eat meat and stuff. To me, that's like, mm, it's kind of stupid, but all in all, he's a quite knowledgeable person. You can't take that away from him. He can hang. If you can talk to Elon Musk for three hours and you can hang, come on. Francesco, women care a lot more about height than face features. Well, that's not really true, man. Like, you can't just say, like, that's such a generalization. I'm, just, I'm not going to let you get away with that. It's not true. Women don't walk around just scanning for height. Again, all you need is one. I'm not going to repeat what I already said. I'm not going to keep going in circles. Like, you just you just have to accept the fact that you're not going to, that, that the majority of people are going to be a certain way. So fucking what? You don't need, you're not dating the world. You're not dating a, a country. You're dating an individual. So all you, all you need is one person, man. Like, there's plenty of examples that those people actually exist. Are they, are they, are they the, the majority? No. Do they have to be? No. You only need one. Apollonius, I've, I've been rejected so many times. My confidence is gone. It's hard. I feel bad. Apollonius, so you got two choices, playboy. Either you can continue to feel bad and you can dive into generalizations and come up with excuses as to why they rejected you. you again, the universe doesn't care. Society doesn't care. Your best friend still doesn't care. Your mom doesn't care. Nobody cares. Like self-pity is never the way. I've had a million different um opportunities to check out to say ah you know life life gave me fucked up cars i'm checking out i'm gonna be depressed i didn't i hung in there because i understood that nothing good was going to come from me for me feeling bad that's why i'm here talking to you today so polonius man like listen by the way if you want to you can work with me i can coach you that's my email address but besides that so i just typed my email address besides that man you just need to, like, don't think about things like confidence and stuff. Play the numbers game, man. Like, it's not about confidence. It's about continuing. This too won't last. This too shall pass, man. Continue. Janus, what culture do women is from? Western women are more after only chat. 20% of the men get 80% of the women. Yeah, but 80% of the men also hit on 20% of the women. See, that's what guys never talk about. Guys only talk about... You know, women only want, but it's the same with guys. It's like guys are guys are just as superficial as girls, and, and they all chase the same typical hot-looking girls. And then they're like, no, oh, women suck. But they never give average or below average, God forbid, women the time of day. So they try to like, it's like, yeah, if you're going to be, if you're going to approach the girls that got on makeup 24-7, they got like a, a Louis Vuitton bag, and high heels and hair extensions, yeah, she might actually be superficial. Shocker. She might actually want a tall guy with a BMW. If you didn't see that one coming, I don't know what to tell you. But that's on you because that's what you want. You guys are scrolling the gram, hitting the like button on these Instagram models, and that's what you love. And then you get upset that they don't want you because, oh, they're superficial. Of course they're superficial. If it walks like a duck, if it talks like a duck, if it looks like a duck, if it quacks like a duck, it's probably a fucking duck. Then don't, then don't start talking about, it's a duck. I thought it was a chicken. But then you got all these normal women that don't live up to your ideal because you are completely obsessed and hypnotized by Instagram filters and plastic surgery. And then you want to talk about women are this and women are that and that, blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, why, how about you also stop being superficial and you talk to a woman, to a woman that's maybe a little bit overweight or a woman that maybe has bad skin or a woman that's, you know, that's shaped like a pear. You know what I'm saying? Like people are just hypocrites, man. I guarantee you those women are out there and they, and they will treat you like a god. But then, but then you don't want that, do you? Because you want the girl... That looks like she's a younger Beyonce. See what it is? 
How is your health these days? Best shape of my life, Playboy. I'm, I'm, I'm having surgery next week's uh, next week Wednesday. They're gonna work on my mouth. If I don't make it, tell my story, man. The realest in it. This man is spitting facts. We should be grateful. I agree. Do you still have rotten lemons? You mean the book? I'm writing the book, man. I'm always gonna have rotten lemons. I'm the, I'm the poster child of the rotten lemons. By the way, if you're trying to get some, some, some free rotten lemon chapter, hit up my email, Apollonius. You're right, I pity myself and it doesn't help me. It's kind of productive. Exactly. You can feel sorry for yourself all day. It's not gonna do, it's not gonna do you any good then. Like, I mean, I'm not trying to shit on you. I'm not trying to make you feel bad. I'm just telling you, like, giving you the facts. The world is gonna keep spinning. People seem to think if they just crash, you know, like then then all of a sudden things are gonna change. It's not, it's not. You gotta pull yourself up out of the mud. Ain't nobody else gonna do it for you. Oh, nobody loves you like you. Bro, to be honest, looks matter. But that's, but I always regret uh, Now I'm thinking of half plastic surgery. I feel unsecured. Any advice for me? Pradhan, um, uh, Ash Look, man. You can get all the plastic surgery you want. You're, th you're still gonna be insecure. Like you gotta work on the inside, not on the outside. Join a gym, man. Get a haircut, get a tan, get, some, get a six pack. Develop a skill. Become interesting. Stop putting, st stop putting women on a pedestal and stop thinking that all life's problems are gonna be solved when you have sex. Doesn't go down like that. Was that duck analogy inspired by the carnivore diet? It wasn't. <laughs> Most guys don't hit on a lot of women here in the Western world. Exactly. We all want the young Jennifer Connelly. I don't even know who Jennifer Connelly is, man. I'm getting old. What are the most Europeans think about Americans? Um, honestly, I feel like in Europe there is a very elitist um, like way of thinking of Americans. I this is not my opinion, but I do know that here in Europe a lot of people tend to like they just think that Americans are stupid and like a little bit ignorant and they all got guns and they eat McDonald's all day and they're all fat. That's kind of like you know. I was literally talking about that the other day to my friend. It's funny how people always in Europe they tend to like look down on European uh, on Americans. But look at the whole Corona vaccination thing. Like America is vaccinating their people like literally a million times faster than we are in Belgium, for example. And we think we're so, you know, we got our shit together. Well, at the end of the day, America is still the number one force to be reckoned with. And when shit really hits the fan, when there is a pandemic, yeah, okay, a lot of people died and it didn't handle it well, but now that they got the vaccine, they're getting people vaccinated while we're still in lockdown, you know, feeling good about ourselves. So, yeah. There's too much disrespect towards Americans some a lot of times from Europe, in my opinion. There is too much disrespect. Francesco, I disagree with you about men wanting to date the top 20%. Male doctors date female nurses, though with female doctors date male nurses. But see, but you, I see what you're doing. You're always trying to like, you're trying to like create these narratives. And I'm sorry, man, I'm just never gonna agree with that because I know it's not true. I know guys who, who make little to no money who date the hottest girls that are out there. Like it's, it's all about how you carry yourself, how you present yourself, but you're just always, starting from this narrative where it's like, you know, women just want money and, and, and tall guys. And it's, it's not true. It's just not. I've seen enough in my life, you know, and I'm, I'm not, I'm not one to shy away from generalizations. I love to generalize in certain cases, but when it comes to women, that's just not true. Women like to have fun, man. They like to be entertained. They like a guy with personality. Shent Nolik, do you have free consultation spots for next week? Yes, I do, Shent Noliki. Send me an email and we can make it happen, playboy. Lorenz.Reese at gmail.com. Turn your life around. Stop playing, Alexander. I'm going to have my nose done. For me, not anyone else. I'm working out. For me, not anyone else. Good. Get your nose done, girl. Sir State, getting a new place in a month or longer. I'm going to be happy renting alone. 
That's called leveling up. I salute you, my friend. By the way, speaking of leveling up, hit the thumbs up. That's what's up. Yamas, more with looks about the top 30%. Of course, social status, social media can help make that status. Money also has to say something, of course. Are you going to get vaccinated? Yes. Yes. And please, so should you. <laughs> Jesus. There's too many people. There's too many dumb people with a platform these days, man. But, but, but they're going to control us with the vaccine. Do you have a smartphone? Because if you do, they've been controlling your ass. How about that? Too many dumbass, ignorant lifestyle influencers, man. They think they got it all figured out. They somehow gained access to the QAnon forum, and now they want to preach and tell us how it is. Please, for the love of God, get the vaccine, man. Ain't nobody trying to kill you. By the way, this is coming from someone who actually is convinced that 9-11 was an inside job. I'm not like this this naive dude. Who, like, there's a lot of shit going on, but please, don't be so black and white. Are you going to... I don't hit on a lot of women because many of them drink, smoke, and do drugs. Hey, man. Let people enjoy themselves. And there's a lot of women who don't. Find a woman that doesn't do drugs. They're out there. What do most Europeans think about Canadians? They don't have an opinion on them. People don't know anything about Canadians here. Really, they don't. Any advice for average looking guys? Yeah, don't identify as an average looking guy. <laughs> you know? Just then, what is, what is my advice? The same advice I give to everyone. Stop making women the focal point of your existence. Get a real goal. Not some vagina, please. I'm still a virgin at 28. Is that bad? No, it's not bad. There's nothing wrong with that. And I can tell you there's a lot of girls who would love that, who would think that's romantic. You got to flip it into your advantage, man. Make that stuff work for you. Tell them that you got like a holy nation, that you saved yourself for the one. Chicks dig that. What's the point of moving out if you can live rent-free with your parents and concentrate on improving your skills? The problem with living with your parents is that you will forever continue in the role of the, of the, of the child. You will forever roll in the, in the role of the son. They will continue to treat you as a child because that's what parents do, and you will continue to feel like that. You, you will never be able to be an actual adult as long as you live with your parents. That's a sad truth, but it is, it is, it is, that's the way it is. You can't, because you, are, you will forever be in that context, in that perception. Even if they're the coolest parents in the world, you got to learn to walk on your own too. It's, it's not about control or conspiracy theories. The fact that one of the vaccines is barely researched and has presumably caused heinous, heinous, heinous side effects. Which one is that? I'm getting the Pfizer one. I'm 18, a virgin, trying to have a plan to lose before I graduate high school. <laughs> Dude, there's nothing wrong with being a virgin at 18, man, first of all. Second of all, I mean, a plan to lose your virginity? How about you just start with talking to girls and seeing where it goes? Come on, man. Yay, didn't miss you completely. Molly, what's up, Molly? I hope you weren't too hungover from celebrating your birthday. I'm watching this while doing bent over roast. Yeah, bent over roast, man. That's a great exercise. I love it. Kill it, man. I need you to do at least four sets. Go heavy. Keep that back straight and pull with the power of the gods. Carson, the only conspiracy theory that I can partially agree with is that Tetuakan intervention idea. I mean, could they really have built that without some help? I don't think so. You got, uh, you should, if you like that stuff, you should read uh, Fingerprints of the Gods. There's a book called Fingerprints of the Gods, written by um, Graham Hancock. And that book, I'm reading, it's right there next to me on the coffee table. I love it. It talks all about that. Dude, there's, there's a lot of conspiracy theories that are just true. For example, I mean, I can give you so many, man. Janos, I read a lot of books to change your mindset. I need, need to re rewire your brain and the way you look yourself in the world. 
Do you like Akira Kurosawa? Uh, forgot who he was. I do know he's someone. Viking mindset is insanely good and strong. Yes. Bro, how do you manage yourself and keep this kind of confidence? Because, I, I mean, why wouldn't I? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, why would I automatically just, like, assume that people are better than me? Why, why, why would I put people above me? I don't see why. I'm happy with who I am, man. I overcame cancer twice. Clearly, I'm doing something right. I mean, I'm not, in, I'm not competing with anyone. I'm not competing with people. I'm not competing with society. I, I wouldn't, I, it wouldn't make sense to me to not have confidence. Look people in the eye, man. I bet you're hungover from Catcher's birthday. I recovered. I was a virgin at 17. Nothing wrong with that. Crystal Alice. Hello, I've been taking advice from the chapter of that book you sent me. It's working. I'm ignoring ugly comments and I'm much happier. I'm acting like it doesn't affect me. You're a good teacher. Thank you, Crystal. So for those who are not understanding, Crystal here, um, I sent her a free chapter of my upcoming book, Rotten Lemons. And she's telling me that um, it is helping her ignore ugly comments and she's much happier. And she tells me I'm a good teacher. Thank you. If you want to get a free chapter from my book, this is my email, lorenz.treats at gmail.com. Done five. Five sets, that's what's up, Atlantic. You got a double pump salute for that. Why is the DNA test taking so long? I don't know, my man. I literally got an email two days ago that they just received it. So apparently the lab is in Texas, so it's going to be better for weeks. But um, I told you, I'm going to do a whole video about it when, when I actually have the DNA results. And if I'm not, if I don't have Viking blood in me, I'll come clean. Plot twist. I wouldn't care anyway. I call myself wounded Viking because I look like one. I don't know if I'm Scandinavian, all right? I really don't. I really don't, man. Chariots of the Gods by Eric von Daniken is one legendary book. I was hoping that the 2020 finale would be a fleet of Hatak motherships coming out of orbit. Cheers. Jesus. Is that a science fiction book, Carson? Is that, is that, is that, it sounds cool. Hold on, I'm going to show you the book I'm reading. This is the book I'm reading. Fingerprints of the Gods by Graham Hancock. Check it out. So this Chariots of the God one, God's one, is that, is that, should I get it? Sounds pretty dope. Molly, the book is killer. I am even more impressed with your skills in English and your communication skills. Thank you so much, Molly. You have no idea how much that means to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm about 110 pages in right now. Um, I'm hoping to get it out in a couple of months. Let's see where I, where I end up. I was going to say, look at that face. It's the poster child for the Vikings. Any advice on dealing with rejection? Move on. Keep it moving. What are you gonna do when you get rejected? You're gonna like you're gonna dwell on it. You're gonna Google on how to not get rejected. Use it as fuel, use it as motivation. Dig deep, use that anger, use that dark energy, man. There's nothing wrong with that. Make it work for you. And then one day, when you're up, they'll see you flying high and they'll wish they never rejected you. There's nothing wrong with using a little bit of, you know, revenge emotion to boost yourself up. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't be scared. Ragnar, Bjorn, Ro, or Ivar. I didn't watch a show, man. I'm sorry. I never watched Vikings. I know. Sue me. I'm sorry. That's one thick book. You could, you could kill someone with that. Yeah, it's amazing. When reading Graham Hancock, aren't you worried about believing the pseudoscience? Um, I mean, I don't believe in everything he says. I just think it's interesting. I, I like I like having food for thought. What I don't like about science is that they they only talk about things that they can prove. In a way, you're you're really limiting yourself. Like the absence of that the absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence. It's not like just because they can't prove something doesn't mean that it can't be there. That's how I feel about it. So I love that book. I worked on chest and triceps yesterday. I did chest today, man. 
I believe in an intelligent creator. Then so you haven't read Chariots of the Gods. He pretty he pretty much established this whole genre. I get it. All right, all right, all right. Chariots of the Gods. I'm gonna check it out. What's up, Giovanni? Hey, uh, yeah, I wasn't even aware that 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 was that, that this was like a big deal. This book. Baby, you want to eat? Yeah. All right, guys, listen. I got to go. My girl got Dutch class in about 30 minutes. So your boy got to cook up, cook up the rice. Now we're going to eat rice and chicken being, being healthy. It was so great, Alexander. Thanks. You guys started it out perfectly. Oh, Molly, I'm so happy you had a great birthday. Lack of evidence doesn't justify making things up. But he's not just making things up. He's actually like he is you know, exploring ideas, but he does have at least circumstantial proof to back it up. But again, you're not, so, you're not expected, you're not supposed to like just assume that it's all like that. You know? Dutch class, what's that? Well, Dutch class is when you go to class to learn Dutch. You know, being that my girl doesn't speak Dutch yet, she's trying to learn. That girl is a model immigrant. She really is. Voila. You see? Got the water going. I'll put that on. Cook up a mean chicken and rice. That's how your boy likes to do it. Just did a 5K run before this. That's why I'm looking sweaty. What happened to your job? Man, I served in Iraq, walked into an ambush. And you guys wanna see something sweet? This is bonus material, material, right? Look what I got my girl for her birthday. Look, isn't that sweet? And then here I wrote her like a, here I wrote her like a beautiful poem, which is gonna be, I'm gonna not read it because it's private. And here I got her a Inca to-do list on things that she should do every day. Like nice things, you know? Boyfriend of the year. I love sweet potato, Apollonius. I eat it at least twice a week. Water is life, don't forget. Water with gas is even more life. Dutch is hard. I live in Holland. Yeah, man. Dutch is a really hard language to learn. I bet she's a great student. She's a nerd, man. She's the biggest nerd. She is. She's obsessed with learning. If she can't learn, she goes crazy. She's, a, she's the best student in the class. The teacher said it. You're the best student. I'm expecting her to get a prize for best immigrant in Belgium of 2021. Oh, here she is. Look at my beauty queen. Look at my beauty queen. Look, I showed them the mug, baby. Oh, in my car, I need to see it over. Molly's saying, perfect. Oh, I never drink coffee. It's great to wake up and hydrate. Look how beautiful my girl is, man. Ah, you're eating your gringo. Bonita. Hey, watch out. Alexandra's I'll bear birthday. your ass. Alexandra's birthday, March 5th. Next week. Ah. Uh, Thursday. No, Friday. Th Wednesday is the third. Ah, yeah, Friday. Alexandra, what should we get you for your birthday? Maybe we should make her a nice video. Happy Thanks, late birthday, sweet Katya. Thank you, Molly. It was beautiful. I took her to a castle. Really, eh? We, well, I'm going to be... It was very beautiful. But they put us in a, in a building, like a side building of the castle. I was trying to impress her, and then they put us in, like, the side thing. Then she was making fun of me. 
Is it true that if you're an immigrant and speak Dutch, they would answer in English? I don't know because I don't speak Dutch yet. <laughs> I'm no, just taking but, classes. But I feel like they answer in Dutch when you try. Yeah, when I try, they answer in Dutch. The Dutch people, they love her. They love her because she tries, you know. Thank you, Alexandro. I'm trying to learn Dutch too. It's brutal. <laughs> It's very hard. It's very hard. It's very hard. It is, guys. All right. I'm going to go continue to prepare the food, guys. 35 minutes in. That's it. One more thing. If you're trying to hire me as your coach, turn your life around. This is my email, lorenz.resetgmail.com. Secondly, um, if you want to get a free chapter of my upcoming book, Rotten Lemons, same email, you'll get one. I'm from Belgium, she's on. Hey, I just want to say hello to you, and your to you and your girlfriend. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you, man. What's the difference between Belgian Dutch and Netherlands Dutch? It's the same Dutch, the same language. I bet you two spend a lot of time in bed. We sleep a lot, it's true. This name. Water. You you think so? Fresh water, maybe. Yeah. Maybe you gotta change it. I'm from Belgium, Shivam. All right, guys, I'm out. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you haven't yet. Thumbs up, thumbs up. The email is for asking for a book of what? All right, Ricardo. I'm writing a book, right? Ricardo. And how do you say it? Ricardo. 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 How do you know he's like, he's even, he's, that's the way you say it. Anyway, I'm writing a book and I'm handing out free chapters for people who are trying to get a preview. So if you send me an email, you'll get a free chapter. I'll just literally send you a chapter in the email. That's it. You say it nice, never mind. All right. Tovnar Jakob, I like your name, Dutch. Tovnar means wizard. Get on it, guys. I'm out. I love you all. Take care. Have a beautiful day. Life is beautiful, man. Peace.